This is from a July 2012 business trip to India. Luckily, I got upgraded to business class, and uh, many hours later, I found myself landing in uh, Mumbai. So here's some memories of that trip. My friend Anoop had rented a taxi cab for us for the day, and one of our first stops was to get some chai coffee, which is something I'd wanted to do since I had visited the country 18 years earlier. Here it is, so enjoy. Oh yeah, I'll do it. It smells good. Yeah, it's made out of uh, water and milk. Yeah. yeah. It's crushing the ginger. It's fresh, crushing, fresh yeah. ginger. Yeah, for the for the chai. Ginger, milk, and water. Yeah. Oh yeah, other key lava get along. Black tea? Yeah. He'll make it black, then he'll put some milk. He'll put some milk and then he'll put this uh, ginger and the masala. How is it, Anoop? Give it a drink. <laughs> sure. It's nice. Good. There you go. Just a second. It's on. Yeah. Chai. <laughs> Supra bhat. Yeah. So that was our chai experience and it was wonderful. Uh, then we headed down to uh, the more tourist area of Mumbai. Uh, here we're passing the, the train station where I'd actually been 18 years ago when we left to go to um, Rajasthan and here's the gateway to India and um, I'm sure you can Wikipedia more about that if you're interested. Then we went to the marketplace uh, trying to find some toys and gifts for the girls back at home and then um, while we were down there we actually stopped by uh, that building that's the Salvation Army and that's where uh, Nancy and Nathaniel and I stayed when we first arrived to India on that first trip. And uh, so I didn't go inside, but got close enough to it. This is the uh, world's most expensive house. Uh, they say it's about a billion dollar house, um, but uh, kind of interesting looking to say the least. Here we went to one of the um, other Muslim sites. It's a mosque. And uh, we didn't go out there uh, because of the high tide, as you can see. It was also Ramadan, starting Ramadan, so it was quite busy. And then we went to uh, a place that I had not visited the time before, which was this uh, church. Really interesting items you can purchase outside, including uh, candles. Also candles that uh, if you need to bring specific childbirth or limbs or uh, money. So we did money. The inside of the church was, was really beautiful. So this area was just opposite of the church, and uh, we uh, burned the candles there. We actually just, I guess, donated our money back. Um, you don't have to burn the, the items that you purchase at the front, so that was good. And a couple of pictures of us. Some other cool architecture. Uh, India, especially in Mumbai, definitely has some cool architecture. This is one of the Bollywood stars' house. Uh, I don't recall which one it is, but obviously one of the really famous ones. And lots of people outside getting their picture taken. Bandra. Nice area there. This is a um, uh, more temples 
obviously very colorful, uh, very interesting for uh, someone like me. Comes in from the outside, knowing a little about the Hindi religion, the Hindu religion. Uh, this is really cool. The uh, taxi that we were in for the day, you know, used natural gas. Very clean. Luckily, I was there during the monsoon sale season and uh, went and did some shopping for the girls. And I uh, have to say, it was quite successful. So wait till the end of the video and you'll be able to see the fashion show that was put on in Tapiola when I arrived back home. I even did get them shoes. Lots of shoes. If you get hungry while you're shopping, there's plenty of food. You don't always have to haggle. That was kind of a nice sign to see. It was amazing. Anoop certainly uh, was able to help me out financially by showing me what to pay because things in India compared to Finland are a lot less expensive. Love the rickshaws. Here's one. Actually rode in one on the last day uh, to get to the office. But the streets are just amazing. So much to see. So much going on. Hey, I got my hair cut there. Really good haircut. This is a high-end residential area. And uh, some interesting history with that. Um, the government sold it to some guy for maybe a rupee or two. And um, he was supposed to not have Papa John's or Chili's there. But he... Um, um, Turned it into a luxury place. If you don't like Taco John's or Chili's, there's always meat bombs. And they deliver, as you can see. So there's some street scenes here. So this is, ah, you can see the bangles in her hand. A girl walking in blue. Yeah. Uh, this is worn by Hindus immediately after marriage. She's just married. She's having that Indian tattoo in her hand. And That's the Henny. So where I stayed was in Navi, Mumbai, uh, more of a business area and uh, a planned community. So uh, a little bit different than what we saw there. This is the taxi cab. That's an older one, as you can see, about to phase out. And these are the newer ones that will be used. And I uh, loved the taxis. loved all the vehicles in India. It's, uh, it's amazing. There's, a, there's that rickshaw again for you. Um, fun little vehicles there. Of course, the motorcycles are still a great way for people to get around. Um, this is a double-decker bus. A couple of pictures here from the influence of the, the Brits. I never rode on one. Uh, maybe one day I will. Well, I've ridden one in London, but never in India. Then we have these uh, trucks here to make deliveries. traffic police. This is a private ambulance, just a smaller ambulance, which is great in those small streets. And then this is actually the world's cheapest car. It is the Nano. And that was made to try to get families off of the motorcycles. Uh, here's an ambassador car. This is the only ambassador that I saw actually running. And uh, it was kind of a surprise for me because the ambassador was such a part of my last visit in 1994-95, so it was fun to see that. I also did uh, watch a little bit of the TV while I was there, and here's a, a few TV scenes that I thought were interesting. Uh, lots of channels and plenty of interesting shows. Enjoy. What she said. <laughs> 
The Indians are great salespeople, so fun to watch these shows. And I was there for work, so here's a few pictures of the office. It's in a nice area of India. Certainly did enjoy staying out there, but very um, business. Very little for the tourists to do out in the area, Navi, Mumbai. It was a very comfortable office. Um, lots of the uh, air conditioners are individual, so uh, you're able to actually just control them with the remote control, which was nice. One thing nice about the Indian offices is uh, the people do tend to have lunch together, and so um, they would have uh, settings for everyone. That was my setting. They chose, they used the newspaper for that, um, and that was what they chose for my friend Anoop. He's a single guy. And uh, some of the other people in the office. So it was a wonderful visit. Lots of good work done. Here I am on the way back home. And um, can't quite leave India yet. Magic Masala. This is in the airport uh, in Amsterdam. Just an interesting vehicle. I did not see one of those on the street in India, but I'm sure I will one day before too long. And here my girls are, they uh, looking beautiful in their Indian dress. So I'm going to leave you with that. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.